For those of you who missed this week's episode of the Shadow Spark Chronicles, here's what's happened so far. Marzalyn and Drusilla continue to have their conversation after Bishop leaves the Academy, and Marzalyn does disclose that Delania is in fact the avatar of True Silver. Marzalyn tells Drusilla that he will talk to Gwenton in the temple about letting her speak to the avatar. Bishop gets home and opens up to Brent about missing Gaz, his remorse about the group letting Athenian Shadow Spark loose onto the world, and the fact that he now has to kill his brother in. She admits that she misses Gaz as well. She tells him that they'll need to take care of Athean sooner rather than later, or more lives may be lost. The next morning, the group discusses hiring a crew to manage the Brindle Star when they go on adventures. It is agreed upon, and Justinian asks if he can bring Crow as part of the crew as well. Annex, Gwenton, and Marslin head to the temple to discuss the possibility of Drusilla speaking with the Avatar with High Priest Cluster. After some tough negotiation, Annex gets Cl- Cluster to agree to visit after sunset. The entire party meet back up, and Drusilla meets them outside of the temple. Entering the secret chambers of the Avatar of True Silver, Drusilla bends the knee before Delania. They say a few words back and forth to each other, and then begin an incantation in unison, as pulses of energy can be felt throughout the room. In unison, they speak of a gnome named Quinlan Featherstone somewhere on Titan's Rock, and that he is the Child of Light. The two separate, and Gwenton helps Drusilla to her feet. The next morning, Justinian takes Crow to get her ready for their trip as Bishop heads to the docks to hire a crew and get the Brindle Star ready for the departure. Annex, Gwenton, and Marslin head to the dredges to get some information on their next destination. Please join us Monday starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, and as always, we'll see you in the dungeon. <laughs>